Hello, my name is Janine and I am a museum guide at the Dayton Art Institute. In this video, we are going to look at several works of art and work to uncover what the artist is trying to tell us through their work. Basically, we will become code breakers. Have you ever looked at a work of art and wondered why it shows us certain things and what these things might mean? Artists throughout time have used symbols to represent or suggest a certain meaning or emotion. A symbol is a thing that represents something else. Here are some examples from American culture. A red heart can mean love. A four-leaf clover suggests good luck or fortune. The green of a traffic light indicates go or proceed. Can you think of some everyday symbols you have seen? Let's look at symbols in three types of art. The first is a still life. Still life is a painting or drawing of objects. These works often include fruits and flowers. Let's look at these two still lifes. Which painting is the brightest? Which pictures look like the flowers have been cut, need water? or are wilting. A beautiful bouquet of blooming flowers can signify life and growth. On the other hand, wilting flowers serve as a reminder that life and beauty are fragile. Did you see any insects? Bugs can be another symbol for decay. Which painting represents life and growth most for you? In our second type of art, sculptures, we will focus on animals and their meanings. Animals, both real and mythical, are used regularly as symbols. For example, a dog might represent loyalty. An owl represents wisdom and intelligence. A dragon can indicate power and strength. Look at this relief sculpture from the Dayton Art Institute collection. What mythical animal do you see? If you said dragons, you are correct. Would it surprise you to know that this is a very heavy stone carving that was once found at the temple of a Chinese imperial family? Imperial means royal. Dragons, remember, symbolize power and strength. An imperial family would have wanted to convey such information to anyone entering the temple. The third type of art we will talk about is portraiture. Portraits rely on symbols to reveal to us things about the person you are looking at. Consider this portrait, and let's look closely for clues about this young person's life. Can you find a pet? Yes, a black cat. Do you think she has a favorite toy? If I were to guess, I would say her doll. Look closely at her lap. Not only do I see the doll, but a book. She may also have liked to read. Could that be a sketch pad on the floor next to her foot? The artist's symbols have allowed a glimpse into this young girl's life and personality. What would you include in your portrait? I hope you will visit the Dayton Art Institute soon to look for some of the symbols we talked about. Thank you for spending this time with me, and happy code breaking. Be sure to check back next month for a new Art Vids for Kids.